Hey everybody, welcome back to the scoreboard. I am your host, Brigham Harris. Now, Blake O'Rulian, our field reporter, got to catch up with Trey Pace out at North Summit High School. He got to sit down with him at the gym in Colville. Talk about the 23 points per game. What, what is happening up there in Colville? Young Trey Pace doing a great job, really carrying his team. Not only the number one scorer when it comes to the 2A classification in Utah, but he's six, seven, top 10 scorer in the entire state. So we're gonna catch up with him. Blake is sitting down with Trey. Trey, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So I, I, I don't know if you know this, but I mean, we've been doing our research on you. You are, you have the most points total this season. You played a few more games than some other teams, um, but you are the number six scorer in all of Utah and the number one scorer in your division. How does that make you feel, knowing that you're just scoring the ball at an insane rate right now? It's, it's nice to see the hard work, you know, I put in pay off, you know, and it, you know, I struggled at the start, but now I'm starting to, to get going, so it's nice to see it start paying off. Let, let's talk about that a little bit. So, so you say that you struggled at the start. What, what do you mean by that? What, so, what did you struggle with? Like a lot of these teams, they've do, been doing a box and one, so they'll have four guys and then one guy strictly on me. And I was uncomfortable, you know, having the ball in my hands. And you know, talking with my dad, and he, you know, I got to have the ball in my hands and you know go to work. So it's definitely helped me to be able to like feel more comfortable on the court and. You know, just playing all these games, I've finally got my rhythm going. So, has your dad always kind of been your mentor in basketball? Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, always been your coach. Yeah, he he'll point out things like the littlest things, like even in my shot, that I wouldn't even think of, you know, fixing. And yeah, he's for sure my biggest mentor. He's absolutely. It's it's. Have you ever had to play a game without him there or anything like that? And um, if so, has it been difficult without him? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the games. You know, when like have the camps and stuff, he's not there. And always after the games, I'll go and talk to him and be like, you know, do I need to fix this, this, and this? But when he's not there, yeah, it definitely plays a role. And last thing about your dad, did he also play basketball yeah. growing up? Did he put up numbers like you, or are you a lot better than him? Uh, yeah, I would say I'm probably better than him. <laughs> I, I can jump higher than him. He said in high school he could dunk a tennis ball, but I definitely have him beat on. But you're dunking basketball, so yeah, right? I, yeah, I'm a little <laughs> bit more athletic than him. So you said in your last game, your last game you had three dunks? Two. I had two in one game, one in the other. All right. And have you been able to have a big dunk in front of the student section here at North Summit? Yeah. La last year, let's see, it would the Morgan game. Okay. And it was it was our last game before it we went to state, and it was an out of bounds play right there, and alley ooped to me and got it. And uh, how crazy did the student section it, go? It was it was pretty cool. It must have been nuts, huh? Yeah. It's, it's a it's a experience there and feeling you can't explain. Is that more of a natural thing for you, or or have you really had to work on your vertical to get to be able to uh, dunk? See, I I still remember in seventh grade, you know, I, I could jump higher than the rest of the kids, but I still remember I was outside and I said I want I want to touch the rim, and so me and my little sister Addie we put on ankle weights, and so I just started jumping and then I'll take them off and try that, and yeah, I've just been working ever since. Oh man, so you mentioned, you know, you've played basketball your whole life. Yeah. This is probably a huge part of your life, is that correct? I mean, 34 points and 35 points over the span of eight days is pretty impressive for a high school basketball player. Um, what kind of zone do you have to get into? Like, what are you thinking during the game when you're just draining shot after shot and you're scoring this much at yeah. such an efficient level? Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm the only guy on our team that's, you know, played varsity minutes. And so when I when I score, I know my team is you know they're they're looking at me to be a leader, and so yeah, it, it definitely you know they're looking at me to lead this team. And when once you once you make your first couple points, it's easy to just get going. So just get so, the ball rolling. Yeah. What what's like your favorite shot to hit? Do you like post moves? Do you like pulling up from mid range? Are you a deep three? Guy? Uh, I like getting to the rim. Okay. I like getting to the rim. Nice layup package. Yeah. All that stuff. Who's your favorite player growing up? Uh, I ne I always so I'm a I'm a Duke fan. Oh, okay. So I watch Duke, but I really like John Moran. Oh, okay. I be, I I can relate to him a lot. So you are in your third year now on varsity. You mentioned that you have to be a leader. What kind of things um, do you notice yourself having to do in order to pick this team up at times? Um, I think you know communicating on the court. You know, letting everyone know where they should be. And being, you know, a role model for the younger guys to, you know, hopefully follow in my footprints. You're also, not to mention, a leader on the court, off the court, like you just mentioned. You are leading the team in steals. You're leading the team in rebounds. Yeah. 
you have these hustle stats. Are you, when you're on the court, it just seems like you own this court and you are playing to the best of your abilities. What, what gave you that kind of mentality when you play? Because it seems like you just take over games. Yeah, I, I think it's just, you know, I don't, it's just in me. You know, and, and I think every time I step on the court, I, it's in me to be the best player out there. I don't want anyone beating me. And so I always try to outwork them. Even if my shot's not falling, then I'll try and pick it up on the defensive end and I'll just try and find ways to, you know, get going. Right, those rebounds, those steals, yeah. that's, that's those hustle stats. Instead of, you know, the points are pretty, but the steals and the rebounds don't come without. And that, you know, my amazing. coach always says, like, if your shots aren't falling, get on defense and, you know, it'll light a fire under you and you'll get going. Absolutely. So, coming into this season, so you're kind of kicking off the season right now. What does this team need to do to really make a move towards leading the region, you know, coming out and, you know, having a very successful postseason run yeah. if possible. Um, yeah, so our first two games we, we played, I would almost say scared. And I, and I, and I feel like each game we're, we're, you know, getting up there. So I think one thing, you know, that we could probably do is maybe have more players look for shots. I always feel like maybe they're, they're kind of scared to take the shots or, you know, but we're getting there. I think we'll, when it gets to region play, I think we'll, do really well. All right, so you're right at the beginning of the season. You're putting up these types of numbers. You're leading the, the state, not leading the state, but you're one of the top players in the state. Uh, what's your goal after after high school? Are you trying to get some college yeah. offers? Are you trying to get some scouts to come look at you? Yeah, for sure. I, I just want to play somewhere because I know I can. And I've, and I've had people tell me, you know, you can play. But yeah, I just, it's always been a dream to play just somewhere. Well, hey, thank you so much yeah. for your time. Really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you so and much. And good luck to you guys. Okay, well, thank you. Blake, Trey, thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. And Trey, good luck to you, man. We got a lot of basketball still to play this season, not only for North and South Summit, but Park City, Wasatch, a lot of exciting things. We're not even in region play yet, and so we are going to be giving you updates, scores, uh, upcoming schedules, all that good stuff right here on the scoreboard. When we come back, we're going to be taking a look at this week in sports, what events we're looking out for, what we're going to be expecting here in the next few days right here on the scoreboard. We'll be right back.